Hey, magandang buhay. So ako si Sir Ben at narito ako upang ituro sa inyo ang uh, arithmetic mean. So kapag kasi sinabi natin arithmetic mean, given yung first term at saka yung last term, uh, identify mo lang ano yung mga numbers na nasa, na nasa gitna nila. Depende sa problem kung ilan yung arithmetic means ang pinapahanap. Okay? So ready ka na? Great. So let's have for the first example, insert for arithmetic means between negative 17 and 28. Ang gagawin lang natin dito is, so we're going to write negative 17, tapos apat na blanco. Sir, bakit apat na blanco? Kasi 4 arithmetic means. And then, 28 sa dulo. Parang ganyan, na nakikita nyo sa screen natin. Ang target natin dito is to identify yung common difference natin. Yun lang. How? By using yung formula ng arithmetic sequence, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Next, kung titignan natin dito, ilan lahat yung terms natin dyan? Tama ka, anim. Sir, bakit anim? Yung dalawang dulo, dalawa, at saka yung apat na nasa gitna. So, anim lahat yon. So, ibig sabihin dyan, yung 28 natin na a sub n, that will be a sub 6. Okay? Next, substitute lang tayo dyan. So, a sub 6 is equal to a sub 1 plus 6 minus 1 times d. So, anong a sub 6 natin? Tama ka, nasa screen naman yan, that is 28. Anong a sub 1? Correct, that is negative 17 plus 5d. Solving for the value of d, APE tayo dito. So, we're going to add 17 on both sides. So, we will have 45 is equal to 5d. Divide both sides by, tama ka, 5 to get the value of d. And we will get, tama, 9. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito is, Starting from the first term, mag add lang tayo ng 9 to attain the next term. And so on and so forth. Hanggang sa makarating tayo dun sa last term which is 28. So negative 17 plus 9, that is, tama, negative 8 plus 9, tama ka ulit, that is 1 plus 9, tama, 10 and plus 9, correct, 19. So ganun lang yung arithmetic mean, okay? Next example tayo. Let me read it. If 5 arithmetic means are inserted between 40 and 10, what is the third mean? Okay? So, kagaya lang ng pinakita ko sa first example kanina, yung dalawang dulo, tapos maglalagay tayo ng limang blanco sa gitna. Bakit lima? Kasi 5 arithmetic means ang pinapahanap. Okay? So, yung 40, yan yung a sub 1, and yung 10, yan yung a sub n. So, yan yung formula natin sa arithmetic sequence. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 d. So, yung a sub 10, yung 10, yung number 10, yun yung last term which is a sub 7. So, we will have a sub 7 plus a sub 1 plus or a sub 7 is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of 7 minus 1 d. So, a sub 7 is 10, yung a sub 1 natin is 40, tapos plus 6 d. So again, magiging negative 30 is equal to 6D. Bakit? We're going to add negative 40 on both sides. APE tayo dito. Next is, tama ka, we're going to divide both sides by 6. And the value of D now, or yung common difference natin ay ano? Tama ka, negative 5. So starting from A sub 1, magdadagdag lang tayo ng negative 5 to attain the next term, and so on and so forth. Ngayon, since yung problem natin, ang pinapahanap lang, or yung question dito is, ang pinapahanap lang is yung third mean, hanggang doon lang tayo. Okay? So, starting from 40, add tayo ng negative 5. Anong sagot? Tama ka? 35. Next, anong susunod? You are correct. That is 30 and tama, 25. Hindi na natin itutuloy yan. Sir, bakit hindi na natin itutuloy yan? Siyempre, ta na nakuha mo na yung tamang sagot. Parang, Siyempre, nakuha mo na or nakilala mo na yung tamang tao. Ba't ka pa magpapatuloy maghanap ng iba? ba? Parang ganun lang yun eh. Okay? So, meron pa akong isang solution dito. Okay? So, kung titignan natin, ang pinapahanap is yung third mean, ba? Try to observe yung position ng dalawang numbers at saka yung pinapahanap. Kung titignan natin, gitnang gitna siya. Yung, yung third mean, papunta doon sa first term, parehas lang yung distansya niya papunta doon sa last term. So, kumbaga, kung titignan natin dito, nakagitna talaga yung third mean natin. So, pwede natin siyang gawin as ganito. I, kumbaga, um, ililet ko na tatlong numbers lang sila. Yung first number is yung 40, yung second number is yung 10, tapos yung third mean, yun yung nasa gitna. Okay? So, how do we identify ano yung value ng nasa gitna? Get the mean. So, add lang yung first at saka yung last term and then divide by 2. 
In our case, 40 plus 10, that is 50, divided by 2, same lang yung makukuha natin. That will be 25. Okay? So, yun na. Ganun lang kadali yung arithmetic mean. So, basta when we are dealing with arithmetic means, kailangan, alam mo yung unang-una yung arithmetic, um, prob, uh, arithmetic sequence equation. Yung a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Ang gagawin lang natin dito is, hahanapin lang yung value ng d. Okay? So, with that, maraming salamat sa pagkikinig sa video na to. Magandang buhay.